what is it like to live with a furry who is a totally different species from your own? In the past, we have looked at what exactly it is like to live with a rabbit. Love, the grocery delivery is here. Can you help me unpack, please? Why is there nothing but 45 bags of carrots? And what it's like to have a panda come to visit you. Since when did dominoes do bamboo as a topping? It's a panda thing. You wouldn't understand. Today we thought we would help share our experiences of living and hanging out with a furry who's a bird. Oh boy, here we go. Where do we even begin? Hey, I heard that. Birds are well known for their large wingspans. Clearly this is something you appreciate when it gets hot in the summer. It's great really. I mean, it must have saved me hundreds of pounds on air conditioning bills every year. And the best thing is, he does it for free. While it is true he does do it for free, we reward him in donuts. Seems he likes the hoop shape of them and, you know, something to do with him apparently being a hoopo bird. Now some people watching might think we're simply taking advantage of his wings, but Rector really seems to be having fun and I've never heard him complain. I just like flapping my wings, don't know why. Would I do it for free without the hoops? Probably, but I'm not going to tell them that. Free hoops are free hoops. Whilst wings might have plenty of benefits in the summer, the rest of the year can actually prove quite a nuisance particularly when it comes to household tasks like cleaning. Oh yeah, him doing the dusting is a complete nightmare. I mean, I've lost count of the amount of things he's broken and damaged while doing it. My raccoons mug, my Sly Cooper figurine. Theodore's Peter Rabbit mug, his framed Roger Rabbit animation cell. Honestly, we really should have just asked him to do the vacuuming instead. Oh god, I really can't tell you how much trouble this has been. Some of the things I do feel bad about, but that pizza rabbit mug? It's not like it was a bird mug. And shelves aren't the only hazard for bird furs when cleaning. Windows also pose a problem. I was spending about 30 minutes cleaning this window and then BAM! You walked straight into it! For whatever reason, he can't quite figure out why there's glass there. He seems to think that if he flies into it multiple times, it'll magically vanish and he can just fly through. I don't know why they put up these horrible force fields. Cleaning problems aside, Living with a bird furry means you get treated to a whole manner of culinary treats. I consider myself to be quite the chef. Bird seed, grubs, strange insects I'm not sure of, all seem to end up in our food. Maybe a birthday cake last year, which at first I thought tasted really nice and you know, it was a little crunchy here and there and well I just thought it was crispy M&M's or something. It was only when I looked deeper at it that I discovered it was full of chocolate covered bird seed. Ah yes, the birthday cake. I do make a mean cake. Layer of grubs, layer of seed. It's a crunchy treat. I'm not a bird, I'm a rabbit. I wanted chocolate covered carrots. Not that you even get to eat much of your food anyway when he's around. Uh, he's kind of made this sort of ah sound, which basically means give him your food. Ah. 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 What? 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 Go on then. Ah. 
and he's pretty persistent with it too. <sighs> Go on and have fun trips as well. And if you don't give in, he just steals it anyway. I mean, to be honest, sometimes it's better simply just to order in. I'll always remember the argument he had on the phone with Pizza Hut to try and get them to put seed on his margarita. Hello, is this Pizza Hut? Yeah, I'd like to talk about my order. Um, there's no seeds on it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I find that very offensive to birds. Where the hell is even my ear? Half the time, they just fob me off and put something like crispy beef on. Crispy beef is not bird seed. Watching some films with a bird furry is always going to be a lot of fun. Ah, let's see what movies we got here. Who Frame Roger Rabbit? Mm, nah. Ugh, Transformers the movie and not the 1986 version. Ugh, what the hell is Corner Gas? Sounds wrong. Ah, Zambezia. The one with Samuel L. Jackson as a blue falcon. And it's got hoopos in it. I've lost count of how many times we've watched Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. I get it, it's a cinematic masterpiece, but it really loses its edge on the 39th Street viewing. Free Birds, Rio, Rio 2. The Angry Birds movie. Chicken Run. The Penguins of Madagascar. I like to think, you know, I've expanded their minds with my wide collection of bird themed movies. Anyway, it's not like I don't let them put films with their species on sometimes. I mean, I suggested watching Peter Rabbit once, but when I looked at the desk, I found he pecked holes in it. Don't, don't tell Theodore that uh, actually I took a Black & Decker and drilled holes into the disc. Ugh, James Corden. Uh, is, uh, isn't he going to watch this? Hmm, shit. Can you cut that out? Don't expect any lines when living with a bird either. Oh, <sighs> uh, what time is it? 5am? I imagine everyone here is familiar with birds singing in the morning. I've saved them so much money on buying alarm clocks, and what could be more pleasant to wake up than the sound of hooping? I don't always mind the early starts, personally, especially on trash days. You know, gotta get a head start on all that trash before the garbage men arrive. I mean, fortunately, like an alarm clock, we found out that he also has a sleep mode, and that worked out <laughs> really well. It's not just an alarm for waking you up, either. The hoop alarm can often be a smoke detector or to warn you of incoming danger. I mean, the main problem is they all sound so similar. I mean, you just have to kind of learn the tones. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Timmy falling down the well? Ah, <laughs> uh, the confessional registration's open. <laughs> oh, there's a sale of Bonafi Pie at Sainsbury's, isn't there? <laughs> ah. And it's not just the hooping that he's used for. Bird beaks, particularly the hoopo ones, have a wide variety of uses. Oh, I mean, if you're into vinyl, well, the hoopo beak is great for playing your old records. And for getting your keys, it's not an issue. I like to think of my beak as a Swiss army knife. Whether it's helping out at home or stealing food, there is always a use for my beak. Oh hey, uh, you gonna eat that bagel? So, there we go. That is some of our own experiences of what it's like living with a furry who's a bird. Do you live with a different species? How is it? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, boop that subscribe button, 
or ring that shiny notification bell to find out when new videos arrive every week. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to our Patreon in the description below, and also a link to our merchandise store where you can buy fun Shadow Raccoon brand t-shirts too. I'm Shadow Raccoon, and I'm Theodore Rabbit, and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone! Bye!